let's do some Python on hardware. This is from our newsletter, Adafruit Daily, where you can go to adafruitdaily.com, completely separate website. You can subscribe there, Python microcontrollers, and get it at RSS, you can get it as an email, you can get it as a blog post, you can get it on GitHub. But this week, let's take a look at what's going on. So um, we'll have this in the store soon. This is a uh, Raspberry Pi's new $70 AI kit. Yeah, it's basically a whole bunch of Python in it. Oh, what would it be? Oh, I got up early. Um, yeah, so this is interesting. It's like, um, you know, if you're interested in doing TensorFlow Lite um, or just playing TensorFlow on a microcontroller, or if you want to start like doing LLM programming and, and um, implementations, um, having an AI coprocessor will really help. I mean, it'll basically make your, um, you know, simple Raspberry Pi computer as good as having a, like a GPU core uh, from NVIDIA. Um, and uh, with the PCIe hat, it, um, it's got a really fast uh, interface. So uh, before, you know, people would use USB sticks. Um, this is going to be much faster. So I think it'll be interesting people doing, you know, on the edge, um, you know, not internet connected, Raspberry Pi AI projects, especially if they're getting sensor data or vision data and doing on the fly um, analysis without having to like, you know, go up and use like open AI or yeah. chat GPT or, or any other of, of the other online. And there's sci-fi availability now. So if you're kind of waiting, yeah. um, I guess, you know, as soon as these are out, we'll probably see people doing comparisons with the um, NVIDIA cool. Jetson yeah. and then Jet like, Jetson, Google yeah. Coral and then Raspberry Pi, like each has its own offering. Um, and then you get to like computers and clusters and, yeah. you know, Apple just had their big Apple intelligence. Um, it's all about AI. Yeah, there's a lot. And I think we're just at the very beginning of people being able to poke at it themselves, um, at least on something like Raspberry Pi. So we'll see. Um, next up, uh, you can check out uh, a review. Um, this is uh, from Jeff. This is the, the AI kit. Um, and comparisons have begun. Is it better than Google Coral? Here is a really neat key map flashing utility. If you want, and that is cool because it's for KMK. So it's like if you're wanting to use, uh, people use QMK, which is like the embed, I think, based keyboard editor. But KMK for Circuit Python is also really good, and it's like fun to configure. And of course, you can easily update the firmware to add more capabilities and functions if you want to add rotary encoders or OLEDs or TFTs or whatever. Um, so I love that there's a, now a key map editor that makes it fast to uh, use with KMK. All right. Uh, there's a new MicroPython in browser. This is, IDE. yeah, this is not the one Melissa's working on, but it's great to see more editors. This one uh, uses web USB and web, uh, serial, which is definitely the way to go. Um, I remember when web serial was like still like a cutting edge thing in Chromium and I was like, oh, this is so cool. Um, this has really solved the problem of like, how do you get people on Chrome OS or on like a lockdown PC um, access to the COM ports where you can do a lot of microcontroller stuff. Well, this is the answer. Um, there's PyCon 2024 recap. Uh, videos are not up yet. Yeah, just videos not up yet, but once it is, we will let you know. There's some um, richer programming in Python. This is um, a really neat uh, YouTube video that you can check out. Um, Kevin translates some of the 80s retro games into MicroPython and runs them on a microcontroller. Um, there is Raspberry Pi teaming up with Dolphin Design. It's part of uh, TSMC yeah. for some low power chips. And then um, I guess uh, just noting, um, there's been a lot of Raspberry Pi news, of course, because uh, Raspberry Pi went public. I think we had a, a blurb here somewhere. Yeah, they finally went on the London market. Yeah. So that, on Friday, I think, people can independently invest. If, yeah. if you want to not just own a Raspberry Pi, but own some Raspberry Pi stock. Uh, here's PyCharm with CircuitPython on Mac, so a little bit of setup. And then I think um, we had a note here for uh, for Raspberry Pi being public. And if there is, I, I shall click it. Uh, we're going past it here. Oh, here it is. Yeah. So this is from Yahoo Finance. Right. Let's see if it's been updated. Um, so it topped out. So instead of it going available and then you know stocks plunge this is a good success story uh you know i read about it because in the u.s the finance market of course is uh very focused on the new york stock exchange and then nasdaq um but this is a little different because um 
London needed some successful IPOs. And that's what you keep hearing is like, this is a specifically tuned um, offering. And um, obviously Raspberry Pi is. Okay, so um, in, even in this article, it's like the small deal is still a, uh, this deal is still a relief for London, which has fallen behind in this year's IPO revival in Europe. Um, so they're, they're hoping it kind of has some new life in the um, financial district hub area, which is London, which is never for. So um, they were working on this all the way since 2022. It's been going on for a while. They, uh, Raspberry Pi that has raised money from ARM, Sony. So um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, on... Once you raise some money, it's obvious. It's like, you, you know, gotta go somewhere. You gotta go somewhere. So we'll see what happens. Um, the money that was raised, they're gonna, uh, you can read on raspberrypi.org and you can read from different people from Eben to their uh, CEO, um, Philip, about what they're gonna do with the funds. They're going to invest in new hardware, new offerings. So we'll see. Um, you can check a, the financial information if you're into that and sleuth around and see what uh, Raspberry Pi might be doing this year. Um, you can look at the their, their filings and their offerings. That's a lot of fun. So we'll cover it. Um, so far, so good. Congrats okay. to everyone at the Raspberry Pi team. It's good. It's got legs. Yeah, this is part of their story. So uh, other good thing, of course, is... Uh, when you're doing this, you want to get a lot of um, news out. So you'll probably see a lot of news announcements and more. It's very common as the IPO, you know, they had to have a quiet period, but now they can, now that it's happening, they can start talking about a lot of stuff, talking about stuff. So they'll probably be, you know, I have no knowledge of, but usually this is when they're going to do a lot of announcements and um, pre-releases. And like you see, like the, the AI hat came out. Um, and um, they've been getting more product into yeah. uh, the market. So we have like, well, I'm actually fully stocked on all Raspberry Pi variants right now. Okay. And this is, once again, the newsletter that's delivered every single week. I found it on hardware.